Hello and welcome back. In this video, I am going to show you how to install Docker on Ubuntu 20 Linux machine. I have launched an instance in my AWS account, which is an Ubuntu instance. So we are going to install Docker on this machine. So this is Ubuntu version 20 and we are going to install Docker in this machine. So to install Docker, there are two ways. One is to install Docker from the official repository and second one is to install docker from the default repository i'm going to show you the first option which is going to be installing docker from the official repository and all these commands i have noted down in my notion and i'm going to share this link with you in the description box so that you can refer this for all the commands so let's go and start the inst installation so i'm going to go into this instance connect to my ec2 instance so let's see if the instance is ready. If you don't know how to launch an instance, you can watch my video on how to create or launch an instance in EC2. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. I post videos on AWS, on cloud and DevOps tools like Docker, Ansible, Terraform, Kubernetes and everything that you need to know. So please subscribe to my channel if you're new and let's start with the installation. So I'm going to connect to my, v to my EC2 instance. I'm going to SSH into it. So connecting and let's start our installation. So the first command whenever you work with any Linux machine is to update all the packages and we're going to update all the packages by running sudo apt update. So I'm here in my instance and I'm going to remove this to make it big and run clear to make to go to the top. Okay, so first command is to update all the packages sudo apt update. This is going to update all my packages. So you can see here once the packages are updated, I'm going to run the next command which is to install apt transport https ca certificates curl software you can check the description here the above mentioned command gives the packages give the package manager permission to transfer files and data over https using this then allow the system to check security certificates with this install curls which is a tool for transferring data and add the scripts for managing software. So all of these are going to be done in a single command. I'm going to run that. So sudo apt get install all this and type y for confirmation. So this is going to be installed. You can see. And now let's go and add the gpg key. So when you run this command, you should get an output saying OK. So I'm going to run this command and I get the output as OK, which means we have successfully added the key. Next is to install the Docker repository from where we will be installing the Docker tool. So I'm going to copy this and paste it here. So this is an official installation and you should follow this practice rather than using anything else because this will confirm that you have successfully uh, and properly installed Docker. So now that we have installed the Docker repository, let's update all the packages again and then we will be running the command to install the Docker. So we are updating all the packages and lastly we are going to install docker by running sudo apt get install docker dash ce and after this command we should have docker in our machine so it's docker is going to take 398 mb and they want us to confirm so i'm going to type y and this will install docker in my machine so let's wait for this to complete and we are going to confirm by running the docker hyphen version command to see if docker is there or not it's downloading everything necessary like docker cli docker c docker scan everything that we need for to work with docker seamlessly okay so this is done let's clear the screen and run the command to check if docker is actually there or not so i'm going to run the command docker hyphen hyphen version to check okay it says docker is installed and the version is 20.10.20 .20. So now the docker is installed if you want to check if it is actually running or not you can run the command sudo service docker which is the name of the package docker and status so st status which means docker is active and running which is what we wanted if it is not running you can run the command sudo service docker and start so this command is going to start here but it's actually started so we, we, get, we get the status as it is active and running as we have successfully installed docker in our ubuntu machine if you face any issues any doubts you can always drop a comment i will make sure that i help you out so this has installed docker with the official doc, official repository if you want to try out the uh, default repository i am going to paste the link 
of this notion in the description so you can check it out now that we have docker here in let's go and run the command to check the images so if i run docker images i am going to get an error saying i don't have the permission but if i run the same command using sudo i don't get any permi i don't get any permission error this is because you cannot run docker commands without sudo but there is a way if you want to check how to run docker docker commands without sudo check out my next video i'm going to show you how you can run commands without using sudo so i hope this was informative and you have learned how to install docker on your ubuntu 20 machine if you have any doubts let me know in the comments if you like this video please share and subscribe to my channel if you are completely new i post videos on aws cloud devops docker kubernetes ansible terraform prometheus grafana everything so like this video subscribe to my channel thank you have a good day bye